you know, there's been a lot of a lot of news out of the Hill lately uh, on guns because um, the reaction to the Uvalde shooting uh, has generated some real bipartisan talks on potential legislation that we haven't seen in, I mean, really probably since Sandy Hook, right, 2013. Uh, so what what have you been hearing uh, the overall uh, state of play is right now? What, how close are they to a deal? On the Senate side and the House, of course, passed a bunch of gun bills, including today. They passed a, uh, a, a national red flag, flag law today, the House. So that's not going anywhere in the Senate. On the Senate side, there's been a group of about 10, 11 senators talking from both parties, talking uh, about a series of gun laws, uh, new gun laws, new gun programs. Um, this is led by, on, on the Republican side, it's led by John Cornyn of Texas. On the Democratic side, it's led by Chris Murphy of Connecticut. And then there's a core, kind of what we're calling the core four group. There's Kirsten Sinema from Arizona, Democrat from Arizona. She's part of this group. And Tom Tillis of North Carolina. So those four are basically the core. And then there's a larger group that they are working with as well. And this is kind of what we do in the Senate now. We do gangs. You know, the, the committee right. process is not really effective as much anymore. So they do gangs. Senators come together from both parties if they're interested in an issue. So this, but it's really, it's really uh, uh, Murphy and Cornyn leading it. Uh, Murphy, of course, has been, you know, one of the leading uh, gun control advocates for uh, since Sandy Hook. Um, and, you know, he's big on this issue. Cornyn, of course, has, you know, long history on guns, uh, on gun rights issues, you know, going back to his days in the, in the state of Texas. Um, so, you know, he has pushed on, you know, suppressors. He's pushed on, you know, uh, uh, uh reciprocity on, on, on um, concealed carry concealed reciprocity. Carry, yeah. Yeah, he's, so he's pushed on this issue. So, you know, when he did the last round of any kind of real gun legislation they did in 2018, they did some enhance, enhancements to NICS, uh, the, the nationally yeah, fixed uh, NICS. Fix NICS legislation. So, but on this legislation, they're talking, you know, I, it, it's hard to say. I, you know, you and I were chatting before we, we started. I mean, I go back like you said, I've been doing this. I've been on the Hill every day since 94. I first started coming up on 92. I mean, I go back to Columbine. I go back to, you know, the debates after that. I go back to, you know, the assault weapons ban in 94. Yep. So, you know, but since that time, you know, Congress, despite a number of, uh, you know, attempts, there's been very little there's been very little actual uh, legislation at all on guns, I, I, you know, the yeah. last one being fixed next. So, you know, uh, like you said, after after Sandy Hook, you know, there was there was mansion uh, to me bill uh, and there was a lot of debate on that. I actually got on the floor and there was a debate. It got through the Judiciary Committee, but it didn't get 60 votes it needed. It only picked up four Republican votes. Right. Uh, so since this is the biggest this is the biggest push since then definitely in a decade to get some kind of gun legislation, the bipartisan gun legislation that both sides can agree on. Do you think that it's going to even get that far as Manchin Toomey did with an actual written bill that they vote on? I What's do, your feeling right now? I do think they will. Look, I, I, I mean, it's a good question. If they, I do think they'll draft something. I, you know, they're trying to come with the framework quote unquote by today. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, or if they do, it'd be very tentative and very fluid, and, and you know, um, you know, just maybe you know, agree to a, you know, continue talking that kind of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But they want to get, you know, and, and I was talking to Dick Durbin, the Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman, yesterday about this. You know, Democrats feel strongly that you know there is momentum to do something, the time to do something is now. They would like to do something in the Senate before the, the Senate adjourns for the July 4th recess in a couple of weeks. They'd like to do it. This is the window that they'd like to do it. The momentum is there. I mean, everybody watched that hearing yesterday in the House, uh, uh, you know, with, with the, the poor little girl from Uvalde and the parent. Yeah. I mean, it's just horrific. I mean, everyone, you can't possibly watch that and not say, you know, not be affected by it. So the, there is a lot of sentiment on both sides to do something. Again, 
I don't know if it'll come. I, you know, my my sense is, you know, <laughs> you know, the 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 you know, I, I'll believe it when I see it. Let me put it that way. That's uh, you know, when right. I, when, I, when I see a bill and they're like, okay, we're gonna vote on it. I'm like, okay, well then maybe I actually believe it. But up until that time, I, I just have a hard time believing they're actually gonna do something. 